Aloha from Washington, D.C., and thank you for inviting me to address this distinguished gathering. The U.S.-Japan alliance remains the cornerstone for peace, security, and economic prosperity in the Asia-Pacific region, and indeed the world. Over the past half century, our two countries have forged a robust and unshakable partnership that embraces trade and commerce, finance, security, science and technology, and energy. The president is strongly committed to the bilateral relationship with Japan. He has traveled to Japan twice, and he hosted Prime Minister Abe at the White House this past February. President Obama has also guided a shift in foreign policy to refocus on our priorities in Asia while ensuring that we keep our commitments in the rest of the world. I was pleased to visit Japan one year ago where I had very productive discussions with Prime Minister Abe and senior members of his administration as well as industry leaders. Given the close relationship between our countries and the bonds among our people, it is critical that the United States and Japan continue to work closely to lead the global effort against climate change. Pacific islands like Japan and Hawaii have no illusions about vulnerability to climate change. Because of exposure to natural forces and the changes occurring in our oceans and the dependence on expensive imported fossil fuels. However, these islands also possess vast potential to produce clean, renewable energy as part of a systematic strategy to achieve the necessary mitigation of and adaptation to climate change. The United States looks forward to working closely with Japan as it works to build a diverse energy supply, accelerate the introduction of renewable energy, further promote energy efficiency, reform its electricity system, restart nuclear reactors that meet new safety requirements, and promote the resilience of energy systems, among many other initiatives. Hawaii is a focal point of some of the most important cooperation between the United States and Japan on clean energy. The Department of Energy has worked closely with the state of Hawaii and local utilities to provide technical assistance to a wide variety of projects. I was pleased to recently sign an updated Memorandum of Understanding with the state of Hawaii that will help accelerate the pathway for Hawaii to become a global leader in the innovation of efficiency, renewables, and grid integration technologies, as well as creating real-world solutions for clean energy systems design and operations. Since 2008, Hawaii's solar energy capacity increased by a factor of 40, and Hawaii's wind power capacity increased dramatically to over 200 megawatts. Our updated MOU will help accelerate this progress. In 2010, the U.S. Department of Energy, the State of Hawaii, Japan's Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry, and Okinawa Prefecture entered into a partnership to promote cooperation between Hawaii and Okinawa on energy efficient buildings, smart grids, and ocean energy. This partnership builds on the close ties that exist among the Hawaiian and Okinawan people. In December 2013, an industry consortium led by Hitachi launched Jumpstart, a $40 million smart grid demonstration project on Maui. The project combines power distribution management systems and electric vehicle charging control technology designed to make more effective use of the fluctuating supplies of renewable energy prevalent on the island. Similarly, a demonstration project on Okinawa's Miyakojima Island, combining solar power and microgrid systems, may offer valuable lessons for effective deployment of clean energy technologies in island settings. In the area of building technologies, experts from the National Renewable Energy Laboratory conducted an assessment of energy efficiency best practices in both Hawaii and Okinawa. And experts from the Hawaii Natural Energy Institute and the Okinawa Institute of Science and Technology have engaged in deep discussions on developing collaborative research on clean energy technologies. Through this kind of collaboration, our two countries can promote clean energy solutions and set a positive example for other countries that may be dealing with similar challenges. When we look at where America's priorities lie now and for years to come, it's clear that nowhere in the world are there more critical opportunities to advance our economic interests, our security interests, and our enduring interest in promoting universal human values than in the Asia-Pacific region. I look forward to continuing to strengthen our partnership with Japan in the years to come. Thank you for your attention. You have my best wishes for a successful summit. Mahalo.